Welcome to yet another weekly episode of iCrass. Today is observed as Martyr's Day to commemorate the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Our history tells us about the number of people who fought day in, day out for the Indian freedom struggle. Let us respect everyone's freedom and follow the policy of live and let live. Today's news highlights are PM Modi interacts with Rashtriya Bal Puraskar awardees. Peru declares environmental emergency after oil spill. James Webb Telescope reaches final destination. NASA offers $1 million prize money for innovative ideas to feed astronauts in space. Beijing Winter Olympics 2022. Indian batter Smriti Mandhana named ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year 2021. And finally, our stirring F2 segment. Let's begin with the news from our country. India celebrated its 73rd Republic Day last week with the annual parade showing the country's military might as well as cultural diversity. There were several contingents of security forces that displayed their military prowess and they were followed by tableaus from states that showcased India's cultural heritage with various themes ranging from our struggle for freedom to biodiversity. Several government ministries also took out tableaus with the Central Public Works Development paying tribute to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose on his 125th birth anniversary. The government also confers the prestigious Padma Awards on Republic Day. Let's quickly take you through some of the notable awardees. The Padma Bhushan was given to ex-Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Gulab Nabi Azad, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, Google CEO Sundar Pichai and even the Serum Institute of India's Cyrus Poonawala. The Padma Vibhushan was also given posthumously to General Bipin Rawat, our first Chief of Defence. Did you manage to catch the parade on TV? What was your favourite part? Let us know in the comment section below. The Pradhan Mantri Rashtri Bal Puraskar is an award given to children who are above the age of 5 but below 18 for excelling or having outstanding achievements in the following six categories. Innovation, Scholastic Achievements, Sports, Arts and Culture, Social Service and Bravery. This year, 29 students have been selected for the award, with the awardees also getting a chance to take part in the Republic Day Parade. Each winner will be given a medal, a cash prize of Rs 1 lakh as well as a certificate, with the awards being conferred by President Ram Nath Govind. We congratulate all the bright and talented young students who have won the award this year. The Peruvian government last week declared a three-month-long environmental emergency due to an oil spill that saw six thousand barrels of crude oil pour into the sea damaging its coastal areas. The oil spill came out of a tanker which was caused by freak waves due to the eruption of a volcano in Tonga. The spill has caused a lot of damage to marine wildlife and has also raised concerns around the livelihood of indigenous fishermen who are unable to continue their jobs. Oil spills are devastating to local environments and steps must be taken to ensure safer transportation of the fossil fuel across water. The James Webb Telescope has reached its destination point, which is one million miles away from Earth. It took one month for it to reach there and will now be used to peer further into the far reaches of space to understand the birth of the galaxy. Along with this, the telescope will also be used to scan the atmospheres of different planets, trying to detect alien life. The risk with this telescope is that it's five times further away than the moon, which means if something stops working or breaks off the machinery, it cannot be repaired. Until now, however, the mission has been a resounding success and credit must be given to all the hard-working scientists who made this possible. 
NASA is offering $1 million to anyone who can come up with an innovative, efficient and sustainable way to feed astronauts in space as the space agency plans shuttles to the moon and eventually to Mars. The main problem is that over time food loses its nutritional value in space which means that a multi-year mission to Mars is not possible due to pre-packaged food not meeting all the needs for maintaining an astronaut's health. The $1 million prize is meant to motivate private citizens as well as institutions to put some research into solving this problem as it could have ramifications even here on Earth. The 2022 Winter Olympics will be held in Beijing, China this year from the 4th of February till the 20th. There will be close to 3,000 athletes competing in 15 disciplines across 109 events. The mascot for the Winter Olympics is a panda dressed in a full body shell made out of ice called Bing Duen Duen. Bing means ice in Mandarin Chinese and Duen Duen means child. The mascot which celebrates China's national animal was chosen from over 5,800 submissions from all around the world. Are you excited for the Winter Olympics? Which event are you most excited about? Let us know in the comment section below. Welcome, I graspers. Smriti Mandana, the Indian women's cricket team's star opener, has won the ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year for 2021. Mandana has won the prestigious award for the second time since she started playing, having won it for the first time in 2018. The incredibly talented left-hander has notched up 855 runs in 22 international games at an average of above 38, which includes one century and five half centuries. We congratulate her for this prestigious award and hope to see her good form continue in 2022. Republic Day celebrations began earlier this year when on 23rd January, a hologram of Netaji Subhash and the Bose was unveiled at India Gate. Unveiled on his 125th birth anniversary, the hologram will remain at the National Monument until a granite statue of the late freedom fighter is completed. Subhash Chandra Bose was the pioneer of the Indian National Army and was the first person to enlist both men and women into his military outfit. He was a great man and for anyone who lives in Delhi, a visit to India Gate must be a top priority for everyone. An Indian student, Ahan Shetty, who lives in Dubai, has achieved a perfect score in his SATs, scoring 1600. He got a full 800 in math as well as reading and writing. Ahan wants to study physics at university in the United States of America. Along with being a great scholar, he loves to play the piano, run in track and field events, and has an interest in robotics. Kudos to you, Ahan. Way to go! Teenage pilot Zara Rutherford has become the youngest woman to fly solo around the world, finishing the journey she started on August 18, 2021. This is a huge and grueling accomplishment as the challenges she faced due to bad weather, COVID and inhospitable terrain were manifold. Rutherford, however, was persistent even though she admitted at times she was extremely afraid. Her full journey was recorded via satellites as well as cameras on her plane. We all should go read more about this journey and be inspired to make our dreams come true as well. I graspers, earlier in January, some strange structures were spotted on the beach in Michigan in the United States of America. While these structures look like they've been made by aliens, they're actually caused due to the sand being frozen at a time of a big storm with strong winds, creating different structures within the dunes. The wind carried parts of the sand that weren't frozen, leaving these structures in place. Sometimes nature can just be fascinating, wouldn't you agree? 
Ladakh has got its first open synthetic track and football track at a cost of 10.68 crores. The synthetic track has helped marathon and long distance runners as before this they had to run on roads which was not only harmful for their knees but also disallowed them from measuring distance and speed easily. The project was funded by Kelo India with the new stadium being situated in Leh at a height of 11,000 feet. The entire project took less than two years to complete even with the pandemic raging on. This is a great project that will definitely aid sports development in the mountain region of Ladakh. The word of the week is crackjack, which means a person or thing with marked ability or excellence. Try to be a crackjack at any one thing you like most and then see yourself succeed. The riddle of the week is what needs to be broken before it can be used? It's an egg. Can you guess who? She is regarded as one of the most important modernist 20th century authors. She wrote in a style of writing called The Stream of Consciousness. She wrote several autobiographical essays including Reminiscences, Hyde Park Gate, A Sketch of the Past. Yes, you guessed it. She is Virginia Woolf. Did you know that Virginia was critical about how women were not naturally offered equal education opportunities as boys and criticized this in her writings? Did you know that the longest tennis match that ever took place was of 11 hours and 5 minutes? It was played at Wimbledon in 2010 between John Isner of USA and Nicolas Mahou from France. The game was played over a duration of three days and the former won the match. Quiz time! Which is the first famous sister duo who won the Olympic gold medal in tennis? Send your answers to contact us at igrasp.com along with your full name, school name and a photograph. The answer to last week's quiz question is The system of imperial examinations for state bureaucracy was abolished in 1905. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Satvika of Wisdom World School, Kurukshetra, for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens, iGrasp. Dear iGraspers, this week let us read and know more about the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi. In his autobiography, he shares his experience and learnings. The book consists of all the information about him which every youth should know, like his birth, education, his involvement in politics and the innumerable contributions he made. Read this book and drop in your feedback at igrasp.com forward slash iClub. Freedom is important for each one of us to create and to progress. Freedom doesn't have to be a struggle. It can simply be a mindset to let go that which doesn't belong to you. Until we meet again next week, give people around you the freedom of choices, freedom of opinion and freedom of action. Stay calm and stay blessed. See you next week.